the, the first thing I th believe most of you did when you heard the theme of Potatoes 2050 was to calculate whether you'll be here or not. And my guess is that some of you did the calculations wrong. Um, so who here is 42 years and younger in the room? Sure. So you are very likely to be here in 2050 still. So um, I'll, I'll see you here. So we've, we've seen an increase in the life expectancy over the past decades. And um, some of the older people here, when they started to work not that long ago, the retirement age was 60 years old. Now currently it's 65. And um, my best guess, and I've had a quick discussion with Peter about it, is that it will change to 70 quite soon. So it, um, it changed within one generation or, or in one, one season. So um, I think the, the most of you might, might have to work longer as you, you will last longer than your pension will. So, um, the, um, so Bruce Cedric uh, and uh, the Honorable Mr. Trump, what, what we're saying here also is it's true to our rugby players. We'll keep them here until 65 or 70 just to level the playing field. So... If, so um, can we just uh, play the video, please? See some more rain. We've got a few showers brewing. I'm not finished. So you have to wait a bit longer to hear who's the winner. So we, we can all see this wave of 2050 coming closer and we can't do anything about it. But what we can do is choose to either dive into it or let it hit us and all you see is arms, legs, sand, dentures, bikini tops, and anything. So 10 years of experience takes 10 years. 
and I, I think we all know that and, and we all agree. But if we unite as an as a industry, we can grow 300 times 10 years every 10 years if we do it together. So my plea for tonight is that those under the age of 42 spend more time with the guys over 42 because we will need the knowledge and experience in this industry going forward. So, do, do we spend enough time with the likes of Gerard Postimus, Sanet Tiart, CTF and Um Karl van der Merwe to learn about the seed industry? Have we learned everything that Frank Lawrence knew about the seed industry? In terms of fertilizer, have we spent or do we spend enough time with, with guys like Pete Brink, Kivit Mall to understand how to fertilize potatoes? Have any one of you heard um, how Albert de Villiers uses cover crops to, to improve his soil health, to improve his nutrient use efficiencies? Het enige een van jullie al die tijd gemaakt om bij Lofi Brand te gaan zitten om te vragen waarna kijk een bank als hulle vir jou financiering moet, moet, um, moet toestaan. Lees ons die artikels van prof Martin Stein oor watergebruik. Ek kan enig iemand aanbeveel om bykie by Jacco Niel te gaan kijken om te gaan kyk hoe, hoe stier hy water en hoe waardeer hy hierdie belangrike hulbron van ons. Has anyone spent time with Gerard de Villiers, uh, André Broeksma and Chris Buckler to understand how to approach a fertilizer or a spray, chemical spray program. Something that I would definitely recommend is to spend time with our previous winner and the longest winner of uh, the, the grow of the year, George Barnard, just to see how he helps new farmers and other farmers, not just by telling him what he does, but explaining why he does it the way he does. It's it's mind blowing to, to see him in action. So, um, if anyone in any business wants to know something about putting a team together that promotes and, and um, just complements each other's strengths and weaknesses, go visit uh, Murray Thompson. I think he, he does it very well. Enige producent in enige bezigheid wat producten verkoop. Ik kan gerust bij Robin Mani en zijn vrouw Lien gaan kijken om te zien hoe passie, in precisie, in trots, enige standaarden wat IPAC of enige iemand kan stellen, niet oortref. En lastly, do we understand the marketing of our potatoes? Um, om Johan van Deventer, I think he, he's got a lot more passion about marketing of potatoes than, than he's got experience on it. And he's got a lot of experience on it. Something else you can sure make time to do is to, to have a chat with Nico Wagner if, if you get time in between his phone calls. To, to understand and to, to cherish the way that he measures his marketing strategy. It's phenomenal and I definitely recommend it. So what I'm trying to say here is that in this room and in this industry we've got a lot of knowledge, we've got a lot of experience. And my plea is to please not let this go to waste with each of us sitting on our own island and waiting for this 2050 wave to come. So let's work together to ensure that we as an industry can be ready for 2050 by 2030. Because by 2050, we will all have to eat potatoes. <laughs> <laughs>